Top 5 Best Center Channel Speaker Number 5 Definitive Technology CS9060 If you don't want a separate subwoofer, whether because you don't have enough space or because you want the cleanest possible setup, Definitive Technology CS9060 is a great solution. It's larger than average but it looks really great and it sounds even better than it looks. Things we like The speaker comes nicely packed and protected inside a simple cardboard box. Along with the speaker, you will get a power cable, for the built-in powered subwoofer, a short manual, and a warranty card. The speaker looks quite attractive. It's entirely wrapped in a black fabric grille. Around the edges, there are some nice looking aluminum reinforcements. The grille is not removable and you can't see the drivers. The only thing you can actually see is the rear panel with all the controls and inputs. On the rear panel, there's a subwoofer level dial, for intelligent bass control, 5-way gold-plated binding posts, LFE input, power input, and a bass reflex port. The speaker houses two front-firing 4.25-inch midwoofers with a special BDSS technology, one front-firing 1-ion aluminum dome tweeter, and one up-firing 8-ion powered subwoofer with a dedicated 150 watts built-in amp. This is the only three-way center channel speaker on this list. The speaker has an 8 impedance and a very high sensitivity, 91 dB. The advertised frequency response is 50 Hz to 40 kHz. The recommended amp power output is 50 to 300 watts per channel. The subwoofer has a dedicated LFE input and doesn't require external amplification, because of the built-in amp. The best speakers to pair with the CS9060 are BP9000 and BP9060 floor standing speakers as well as speakers from the demand series. Of all the center channels we've tested definitive technology CS9060 has the best bass response. It's powerful, thick and very tight. All that is perfectly understandable since this is also the only center channel with a built-in sub. This thing won't cover those really low frequencies and won't deliver the rumble you would get from a dedicated 12-inch subwoofer but it's pretty great for a center channel speaker. The midrange is accurate, detailed, and perfectly clear. The dialogues are crisp, and the treble response is extremely extended, balanced, and consistent. CS9060 creates a very wide and vivid soundstage. Combined with a pair of BP9060 floor standing speakers, it creates an incredible cinema-like experience. Things we don't like CS9060 is not mountable, it has to be placed on a TV stand or a shelf. You should also have in mind that this speaker features an up-firing subwoofer, so avoid placing it inside your TV cabinet. Coming in number 4. Klipsch RP504C Klipsch is arguably one of the best-known brands when it comes to home theater speaker systems. RP504C is nothing like those previous center channels. This one is really big and it's not suitable for small and medium rooms. Also, this one is not as affordable as previous speakers. Klipsch RP504 is a great choice for large rooms and dedicated entertainment rooms. Things we like RP504C comes in a large box along with a removable magnetic grill, four rubber feet, manual, and a warranty card. The speaker is quite chunky and requires much more space than those compact center channels. It's 31 inch wide, 14.5 inch deep, almost 7 inch tall and it weighs 34 pounds. The cabinet is made of hard MDF. The whole appearance is very attractive, mostly thanks to Klipsch's recognizable spun copper woofers but also thanks to sleek finishes. RP504C is available in three finishes shiny piano, black and scratch resistant ebony and walnut finishes. RP504C is a two-way speaker. It houses five drivers for 5.25 inch Sarah metallic woofers and one 1 inch titanium tweeter with the Klipsch's hybrid track tricks horn. The crossover is set at 1.5 kHz. The cabinet is ported the base reflex port is located on the back. Instead of a common circular port, Klipsch uses its own track tricks port. This port design is supposed to eliminate the distortion and enable much better airflow. Next to the track tricks port, there's a pair of five-way speaker terminals. 
the speaker's impedance is rated at 8 ohm. The sensitivity is pretty high. RP504C can handle 150 to 600 watts, it requires more power than all the previous center channels. The advertised frequency response is 58 Hz to 25 kHz. RP504C works best with other speakers from the RP series. If you also want to add a subwoofer, try Klipsch R120SW or R100SW. The speaker is quite powerful and loud. The bass is punchy, strong, and well controlled. The midrange is accurate, dynamic, and very detailed. The vocals and dialogues are crystal clear. The high end is just slightly brighter than normal but not fatiguing. The sound stage is wide and airy and the whole reproduction is quite enjoyable and engaging. Things we don't like RP504C is not mountable. It has no mounting holes and it's really large and heavy. You could probably find some brackets for it but it's definitely smarter to place it on a TV stand. Coming in number 3. Poke Audio T30. The next speaker on our list of 7 Best Center Channel Speakers Indiana 2021 comes from the Poke Audio, just like the previously reviewed S35. Poke Audio T30 features pretty much the same kind of two-way design as the previous two speakers but what makes it different is the bass response. T30 delivers significantly bigger and more powerful bass. It's not going to replace a dedicated subwoofer, but it still makes the sound bigger. Things we like. The speaker comes with a nice-looking black fabric grille. The grille is magnetic and easily removable. The cabinet is made of MDF and has a nice grayish vinyl finish. The speaker is not as slim as some other compact center channels, 6.5 inch tall, but that's because it houses much bigger drivers. The speaker features a two-way design. It has three drivers two 5.25 inch dynamic balance woofers and one 1 iron silk dome tweeter. The cabinet is ported the base reflex port is located on the back, right in middle. Gold plated 5 way binding posts are also located on the rear panel, in the right corner. The speaker has a 6 ohms impedance. It can handle up to 100 watts, minimum recommended power input is 20 watts. The frequency response spans from 60 Hz to 24 kHz. According to the specs, T30 is not much better than the SSCS8 or NSC210 barrel when it comes to bass response but it's not all about the specs. In reality, it sounds bigger than those two. The best speakers to combine with the T30 are other speakers from the Pokes T-Series T50 floor standing speakers, T15 bookshelf speakers, and some of the Pokes subwoofers, preferably some sub from the PSW line. T30 delivers a very detailed and accurate reproduction with dynamic mids, clear dialogues, and consistent highs. The bass is quite punchy and nicely layered but it still lacks some real rumble. Only a dedicated subwoofer can deliver that kind of bass. Things we don't like. Poke Audio T30 is not mountable there are no mounting holes or threaded inserts on the back. So, the only placement option is your TV stand. Coming in number 2. Sony SSCS8. Sony is an omnipresent brand in the world of audio equipment. Whether you're looking for wired or wireless headphones, portable Bluetooth speakers, home theater speakers, wireless surround sound systems, or professional equipment, Sony has something for you. Sony's SSCS8 is a compact center channel perfect for those who can't spend more $150. Things we like. SSCS8 comes in a simple cardboard box. The packaging contains your speaker, a removable magnetic grill, manual, and a warranty. The speaker is quite compact and relatively slim, 5.75 inch tall. It has a strong cabinet made of MDF with a matte black finish. This is a two-way speaker featuring two 4-ion micro-reinforced woofers and one 1-ion one polyester tweeter. The drivers are protected with a black fabric grill. The grill is easily removable. On the back, there's a base reflex port and a pair of five-way binding posts. There are no mounting holes you can only place it on a TV stand. The speaker can handle up to 145 watts of power, max input, but you can a great performance with a much weaker avenue receiver, 
60 to 80 watts per channel will be just fine. The impedance is rated at 6 ohms and the sensitivity is 86 decibel. The advertised frequency response is 55 Hz to 25 kHz. However, we don't think you can actually get any serious punch. The best speakers to combine with SSCS8 are SSCS3 floor standing speakers, SSCS5 bookshelf speakers, and SACS9 sub. SSCS8 delivers fairly accurate and neutral sound. The midrange reproduction is the biggest highlight. The vocals are crystal clear. The treble is extended and fairly consistent. Things we don't like. SSCS8 is not mountable. There are no mounting holes or threaded inserts on the back. The only option is placing it on a stand or a shelf. The bass response is not the best thing about this center channel. According to the specs, it can go down to 55 Hz, but it doesn't sound like that in reality. If you need that oomph and rumble, you will need a pair of floor standing speakers and a subwoofer. Coming in number 1. Poke Audio Signature Series S35. Poke is a famous American audio manufacturer with decades of experience in home and car audio equipment manufacturing. Most of their home theater speakers can be considered affordable, even their premium lines. S35 is the center channel from the S Signature Series. It's fairly slim, it is relatively easy to drive, it delivers very powerful, balanced, and detailed sound, and it's our top choice under $250. Things we like. Inside the box, you will find your S35 speaker, a magnetic fabric grille, adhesive backed rubber pads, wall mount template, manual, and a 5 year limited warranty. The speaker looks quite attractive. It has a nice grayish MDF finish and sophisticated rounded edges. It's slightly wider than average, 24.4 inch, but it's still very slim, 4.1 inch. The speaker weighs 14 pounds. S35 features an array of six 3-inch woofers combined with only one 1-inch Terry Lean tweeter located right in the center of the front panel. In the center of the rear panel, you have one set of gold-plated 5-way binding posts. On the left and right ends of the rear panel, there are two so-called power ports, that's Poke's version of the base reflex port, and two keyholes for wall mounting. If you are looking for the perfect match, S35 can be combined with other speakers from the S Signature line. For the subwoofer, you can use one of the Pokes PSW subs. S35 is a two-way speaker. The crossover is set at 2.5 kHz. The frequency response spans from 53 Hz to 40 kHz. The nominal impedance is 8 ohms and the sensitivity is 88 dB. The center channel is fairly easy to drive anything that can deliver 20 to 150 watts per channel will be good enough. S35 has a fairly neutral sound reproduction. The bass is punchy but not very deep and impactful, that's why you need a subwoofer. The greatest highlight is the midrange. It's very detailed and accurate it's almost perfectly neutral. The vocals are crystal clear. Things we don't like. S35 delivers excellent performance for the price. The only thing it lacks is the low end but that's probably too much to ask for at this price point.